Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Glasgow and I've got to say, Craig, it's been a while, son. Where oh. you been? Where have you been? Hi, honestly, you wouldn't believe the amount that's been going on in my life. Honestly, stressing. I've got a receipt in already. <laughs> like me, just shave it like me. <laughs> hi, I'm going to need to get to that. But no, hi, just, you know, to, like with COVID and obviously I just had a child there. Well, not recently, but that was two years ago. Just kind of getting my family sorted first, kind of just ticking away, keeping the grind and... Coming back with a bang, baby. That's what it's all about. Three years out and I look like I've never missed a day. Well, to be fair, it, it, it did look like you hadn't missed a day. It looks like you were just fresh, like you've been boxing regular and you've been sparring regular, been in the gym regular. Um, obviously, a little four round there, there to get you back in the swing of things. I tell you what, against an opponent who in the rounds three and four seemed like he wanted to have a little bit of a dash with you. Hey, and I gave him a dash back. I'm not normally known for my standing in there and trading, but I'll be honest with you, I felt more comfortable than actually boxing there. I've kind of, I feel like just getting a wee bit older, a two, three year kind of layoff, getting a wee bit more strength. There was a couple of times I felt like I could have stopped him, and that's a, that's a man there who has been stopped three times. I think only been knocked out twice, and one was like a referee decision, um, which I watched, and I don't think it should have been allowed, because he's a tough boy. Mm. There was, a couple, there was a couple of shots I caught him with. I seen a wee wobble, standing inside, trading with him. Now, I've seen him knock out a fair few good boys. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I'm not going to mention any names, but a couple of good, respectable boys. I'm sitting here thinking, I've had two and a half weeks of training here. I better keep my left hand up. Is that you've had his two and a half weeks two for this fight? Weeks, and yeah. pff, you look, you've still got a six pack. You've still, got, listen, how do you do it, mate? Because if you, if that's two and a half weeks of training and you look that fit and that healthy, man, uh, you must be doing something right in your, in your life. I'll be honest, that's chasing after a two-year-old, 24-7, <laughs> around the house. Wait, 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 I'll stop you there, because I've got a two-year-old, yep. and I still don't have that six-pack, so you're doing something else. <laughs> Diet. I'll be honest, I do, I do like to eat clean all the time. I never really yeah. have a lot of takeaways. I didn't drink. I didn't drink. I didn't really like doing that. I sit in the house. I eat my, I eat my stuff. I, know, I do keep training, but I'm not really high intensity training. I just keep training to make myself feel good, if that makes sense. It's more for a mental kind of state than, than a fitness state. Mm. But I, it keeps me looking good. If I look good, then I feel good. Exactly. Hey, Craig, obviously it's been a while since I've spoke to you. I think we, we bumped into each other in Musselboro a few years back, a random place just outside my, my, my mother's house. Right. Um, and back when you were fighting regular and you were on the scene and you, you, you were fighting on all these shows, you had this skill set, a flashy skill set, and people were probably saying, yep, that's the next one coming through. And um, obviously with this three-year hiatus, let's call it, um, you're back. So what are the hopes for this year? Obviously, we're into March now. What are the hopes for 2024? Obviously, I'm guessing you want another fight ASAP. I've got a fight 20th of April. I've also heard from a little birdie that I might be on the, the Alawa show in May, but I don't know. I don't know. I've heard that. Um, I'm hoping to... I'm wanting five, six fights this year. I want to get out. I want to make up for lost time. Mm. Um, I knew what level I was at before kind of COVID, pretty much. I knew what level I was at. And between me and you and to everybody, I was ready for titles. Mm. I know I was. I was a 19-year-old hungry boy. I'm 24 now, right? My last fight was 22. I just done 22, and that was against Brett Fido. I had two and a half years off, fought Brett, had another two and a half years off. So I've actually only had one fight in nearly five years, pretty much, eh? So I want to skip all these. No disrespect, Scottish is a good title. Celtic is a good title. Commonwealth, good title. I want to skip to that. I want to skip to the combo. I want to go straight to it. I'm not bothered. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm getting old now. I'm only 24. I'm not, but I know the skill set I've got. I was ready for that. I was getting offered fights like that back when I was 19, 20. Give me three fights. I'm ready again. Super I'm, feather, mate. Super feather. 59 kilo. And that is nine stone... Something. Six, seven, eight. Nine, nine, nine stone six, I think it is. I think no, nine, nine, nine stone nine's lightweight. So I yes. think it'll be nine stone four. Yes, is it? I well, whatever. Well, we're there. there. So I'm still super, kilos. I'm still amateur days, mate. You're a pro now. You're nine, nine and oh, so you should be in uh, uh, the pounds. Like, I, I'm used to pounds because obviously I deal with a lot of pros, so I deal with the 147s, 154s, one, 160s, 168s, and whatnot. Um, I just. Yeah, ah, 60. Uh, that, that 60 kilo, <laughs> that'll work for me. Um, yeah, like I say, super featherweight. It's one of them divisions when we look at it and it's, uh, it's always been a stacked division, always been a dangerous division, and a very, very good division to be in. And when you're talking about skipping all these levels, we're just sort of like not levels, but skipping these Scottish and Celtic titles and going straight for that Commonwealth title, you're talking about some very, very good, dangerous fighters. 
Are you ready for that now, or do you still want to get these fights under your belt that you mentioned there, get back into maybe these six, eight rounders, and then make an assault for that title? Very good question, that, to be fair. I'm always mentally ready, right? As I said, I've had two and a half weeks of training for this. I'll be four rounds there. I wasn't sweating, I wasn't out of breath, because I've been training for my sixes, I've been training for the eights. In two and a half weeks, I've been going and sparring for eight to ten rounds. I've been doing pads for 15, 16 rounds. I've been, I've, I kind of went flat out, to be fair with you. Maybe overtrained, but it didn't reflect on the night. But I, I'll be honest with you, I think I am ready. I am ready. But fitness-wise, I wouldn't say so as of yet. I need to be humble. I need to kind of see where my feet are. This is my first fight back in three years, right? And I know I'm not ready for the rounds. I know if I can go in there against anybody, I know he might not be a world title holder, he might not be a world class boy, but he's a very, very respectable, tough, durable, and wants to fight you, boy, Brian. Right? And I went in there. You're lucky if I got. Did I even get hit? Once? Maybe once in the first round, maybe I just. The first round. But hey, that's three years of nerves. Mm. That's backed up nerves, that's emotions. I want to go in there and fight. You've never seen me fight. I stand there, I box. I box, I keep my distance, I don't know what I get near anybody. But I'll tell you one thing, there's something different in that second, third and fourth round. I felt different. Mm. I wanted to fight. I, re I didn't actually respect his power. And I've seen him lay boys out. And I kind of thought to myself, I'm ready for this now. Mm. Let's, just, let's just bring it in. Like, I, I'm no bother. Get my fitness up and I'll, I'll take anybody. Yeah. I will take anybody. Well, that, that's good to see. When you obviously been off for so long and sitting on the couch and watching... You've seen the resurgence of boxing, all the stuff out in Saudi Arabia. You've seen all the guys in Scotland doing very, very well. The, the Commonwealth Games guys, the Mike McHale's, the Tyler Jollies, yeah. all these guys sort of like coming now underneath the Josh Taylors and the Lee McGregors and whatnot. And Nathaniel Collins doing so well as well. You've been sitting on the couch watching, going, mm, I need to get involved in this. And ha has it been sort of like, what, what's the what, lack of maybe pissed off, frustration? Is that how you've been feeling the last couple of years? It's all built up testosterone, Andrew. It is. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you know what? I was brought up with these boys. I went through the amateurs with these boys. I've won titles and titles with these boys. Mm. They're at that level now, right? And I feel like I was at that level because I did turn pro a couple of years before Tyler. Before I'm not sure if me and Nathaniel turned roughly about the same time. Maybe I was a wee year quicker. Nathaniel super feather? I don't know. He's feather, is he? I think he's there. I, I don't know, Ken. I, I, honestly, I don't know, Ken. the past three years, I've not watched boxing. I've kind of got it to the back of my brain, eh? I just kind of thought I'll focus on my family and when the time's, when the time's right, I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I'm going to make a fucking statement. Mm. And that's been my goal. And I went in there. I knew I'd be watching his fights. That was a statement to go in there. And if I could stop him, I would try, but it was never a part of the game plan. Mm. Never a part of the game plan. I knew he's tough. Who, who was it that knocked him out? I couldn't even tell you, but the, the punches that were knocking him out, and I even tried it, it was a big right hook, big right hooks, it always knocks him out. Landed a few, robbed him a few, but I wanted to keep my distance. I knew he was dangerous, just keep a wee bit of distance and I'll be easy all night. Eh? And that's what it is. Didn't he stay in there too long, didn't he get clipped. Easy nice work. Easy nice work. One final one for me then. You're back, like you yep. said. Yeah, you're back with a bang, baby, I think was your words. So, you got a message for all these super featherweights out there? Give me time. <laughs> Give me time. I've waited three years, right? I, I, to be honest with you, no, really. Just watch. Yeah. Just watch and wait and see because I'll tell you one thing. If you get matched up against me, you're fucked. <laughs> Great. Oh. Well done, brother. I'll see you in the next one, brother. Okay. Yeah, I've got sorry. trouble with my camera. But that's all right, right. Well done. Great. Good to see you again, brother. Well done. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.